Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very exciting video of algebraic expressions, where we are going to simplify x power 4 plus y power 4 plus x cube plus y cube if x and y is known. x is square root 7 plus square root 3 over square root 7 minus square root 3 and y is square root 7 minus square root 3 over square root 7 plus square root 3. While solving, I will use algebraic manipulations, identities and we will conclude our result. So let's get started. If you will see x and y both are mutually reciprocal. So let me take product of both. So I will write xy is equal to root 7 plus root 3. Let's multiply root 7 minus root 3. This is x times y root 7 minus root 3 over root 7 plus root 3. Now you can see this term, this term will get over. This term, this term we will cancel out. Okay. So that means our conclusion is xy equal to 1. So let me write here x times y equal to 1. This is first equation. Now I have to actually find out this expression. So x plus y is my target. So if I will find out directly x plus y, better is to consider x is equal to rationalize this given rational function. So root 7 plus root 3 divided by root 7 minus root 3. So I will multiply numerator denominator by denominator's conjugate, which is root 7 plus square root 3. Similarly, root 7 plus square root 3. Now we'll have whole square in the numerator. You can see it is 7 square root 7 plus square root 3 whole square. And in the denominator, it is a plus b a minus b. So it is recalling only one identity that is difference of a square formula. If you will consider this is a, this is b, a, b, then we can write this identity a plus b times a minus b or a minus b times a plus b. It would be equal to a square minus b square. So what I will write here, I will write root 7 square minus square root 3 whole square. So if I will expand this algebraic identity by this formula, a plus b whole a square can be written as a square plus b square plus twice ab. So let me expand root 7 square. So 7 root 3 square. So 3 plus 2 times root 7 into root 3 over root 7 square is 7 root 3 square is 3. So 7 plus 3, 10 plus 2 times root 7 th times 3, 21 divided by 4. So I will divide numerator denominator by 2. So I will get 5 plus the square root 21 over 2. Or I can write half. 5 plus square root 21. This is our x. So it will be useful once we will be calculating x plus y. Now let's find out y also. So y is square root 7 minus square root 3. Let me consider here. The square root 7 minus square root 3 divided by square root 7 plus square root 3. Let's rationalize. So what is our denominator? Root 7 plus root 3. It's conjugate root 7 minus root 3. So I will multiply numerator denominator by the same. Now again same thing. Numerator is root 7 minus root 3 whole square. And denominator is again a plus b a minus b. So a square minus b square. So that value will be, let me explain, 
expand using a minus b whole square. So root 7 square 7 plus root 3 square 3 minus 2 times root 7 into root 3 divided by 7 minus 3. It will come out 10 minus 2 root 21 over 4. Okay. Again, I will divide numerator denominator by half. I will be having 5 minus square root 21. Let me write once the value of x also. So, this is our y. What was our x? x was half 5 plus square root 21. Okay. Now, let us find out x plus y also. If I will add both, I will be having half 5 minus square root 21 plus 5 plus square root 21. So, this term will get cancelled out. 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 over 2. So, overall x plus y equal to 5. And our first equation was x, y equal to 1. Now we will be finding the required expression. Let us find out. How we will find out? See, I will consider into two sections x power 4 plus y power 4. Okay, let us write here. I am writing x square plus y square whole square because power 4 is involved. So, better is to expand this. I will be writing a square. So, x square whole square x power 4 plus b square y power 4 plus 2x square y square. What we know, let me write here xy was 1 and x plus y equal to 5 we know. Okay. Let us solve now. Now, let us write x power 4 plus y power 4. x power 4 plus y power 4 this term. So, I will write x square plus y square whole square minus 2x square y square. Okay. Now, see x square plus y square. I can write x plus y whole square. See x square plus y square plus 2xy. So, minus 2xy to counter that expression value. Whole square minus 2x square y square. Now, we can put values to find out expression x power 4 plus y power 4. x plus y 5. So, let me write 5 is square minus 2xy. So, 2 whole square minus 2 times xy whole square. xy is 1 whole square. So, I can write 5 square is 25 minus 2, 23 whole square minus 2. 23 whole square is 529 minus 2. So, this value is x power 4 plus y power 4 is 527. Okay. Now, which term is pending? That is x cube plus y cube. So, I will write one expansion. Again, one identity I will use. That is x plus y whole cube. So, let me write x plus y whole cube. So I can write a plus b whole cube. a cube plus b cube plus 3ab a plus b. So, what we know, everything we know except x cube plus y cube. So, that is I guess simple. So, I will put x plus y equal to 5. So, it will become 5 cube equal to x cube plus y cube 3xy. See, xy is 1, x plus y is 5. I will write 3 times 1. In bracket, I will write 5. So, 125 equal to x cube plus y cube plus 15. Okay. So, x cube plus y cube will become 125 minus 15. So, that will be 110. So, what we have to do now? 
we have to add both that is our answer so our required expression value would be let me write completely x power 4 plus y power 4 plus x cube plus y cube that would be equal to 527 plus 110 that would be 637 this is our final answer i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video